So this is the little <coughs> mixer that I use, that I've been using for a long time. Uh, it's a Pro DX8, made by Mackie. These are the speakers that I'm using, have been using. Uh, they're the SRM 550s. Um, they're nice little speakers, you know, compact, and we shall see uh, how those QSCs perform. These are the um, microphones that I've been using. They're just a standard, well, they're not standard. They're Beta 58A, and I'm going to be replacing them in here with these, these 87As. So uh, let's, uh, let's do a little uh, comparison side by side. So this is a side by side comparison of the Mackie SRM 450s and the QSC K 8.2. So you can see there's a um, significant size difference. So we shall see how the QSC speakers stand up against a bigger speaker. I believe the, the, the speakers in the SRM 450s are 12 inches and the ones in the QSCs are 8 inches. So smaller speaker, but um, I'm hoping to, to report higher quality back to you. So this 87A, and I knew when I ordered it, is a condenser mic. So which means we have to have phantom power. Um, and this little Mackie board with the iPad uh, uh, user interface or the mixer interface, this does not have phantom power on it. So I'm going to have to plug in the QSC uh, mixer, the Touch 8, to get phantom power on, which is already a great uh, comparison uh, between this, um, this little Pro DX um, mixer that Mackie makes that, you know, you, you basically use a Bluetooth uh, uh, connection between the mixer and this and you can dial in everything from here. Um, but it doesn't have an option for phantom power uh, for the uh, microphones. So uh, that is an obvious uh, and glaring difference that will be lovely to have in the new QSC uh, Touch 8 that is not uh, on the DX8. So um, that's going to take a little bit more setup so we won't be able to compare these microphones and I knew, I knew one set of these uh, that I ordered was a condenser, and it happens to be these ones. So, um, so we'll have to compare these at a different time. So, but, but obviously, these things look awesome. Look at this. I mean, they're just, the finish is just nice. And it's, I mean, it really feels good in my hand. And I love the flat. I, 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 I prefer a flat better than around because I can tell where I am on the microphone. This you can't really tell. Uh, it's just all curved. This you can kind of you can feel the top and the bottom and you can uh, you can kind of get you know where the center of the microphone is. So I think that's why they designed these like this so that you can really get a good uh, feeling for where you are on the mic. So we will compare these two at a different date.